this is a new video I went back to thread painting I like this bird it's a flamingo just started this is soluble um, fleece it's water soluble and uh, I'm sketching with bread. It's uh, not a big painting, and I just a little one. See, and um, this is the drawing. Put it on white paper. So nice, and now I'm coloring in. see get it straight see this little pucker is not that bad it's just because I think I have to um, straighten it again and um, next to th this part of the beak I have to have gray here and gray there so I set up the machine and run a few stitches and let you see how I make this. And I also got a lot of colors that I can shade the thread painting with. I got a box with a lot of colors and you can blend better. Well, this is the machine. Um, with a darning foot this one and um, always uh, use a new needle when you're starting a project like this because this is a fine material and it can easily tear so put the camera on the standard I'll get me some new clippers New scissor. I hope it's all right because I had this one, or I've still got this one, but it fell on the floor. It's still sharp, but this one can easily fall and it doesn't hurt the blade as much as this one. So that's why I'm putting this one aside. When you're sewing uh, a lot going up and down I'll just keep this on that side and uh, I'll start with going in the frame and coloring this one as well I still have to do the nose or the beak because it's fairly thin Colored, you see, you can see right through it. I zigzagged a little bit the horizontal because then the threads are a little bit um, stronger. Now you can see it really good with the light from the machine. I faded a little bit here, see, and there with the eyes. So 